This video shows three basic designs from audio filters. This is a low pass filter. This is a high pass filter or a low cut filter. And here you see a band pass filter. Um, they can be used for all kinds of frequency ranges. But here my focus is on audio circuits, so 20 Hz up to 20 kHz. Here you see that I have written it could be a low pass filter. And the reason is that this depends on the value from this capacitor. When this value is low, let's say 1000 picofarad or so, it won't act as a low pass filter. And here you see this is a low cut filter. And also it could be a low cut filter. And this also depends on the, on the value from this capacitor. This is a series capacitor. And it means that the um, AC resistance from this capacitor is decisive for the properties from this filter. These are all very simple filters, but this bound pass filter uh, I've made here as a demonstration circuit. And this video is about the problems that you can encounter when you make these audio filters. So it's not about solutions, but about problems. Here is the input to the filter. And it's approximately 0.8 volts. That's the, the normal line signal in audio circuits. And here you see how I've made this circuit. 3.3 microfarad input capacitor, 100k um, potentiometer. C1 is 50 nanofarad. And C2 is also 50 nanofarad. And this is a small audio amplifier acting on 12 volt, and this is the output. The reason that I took 3.3 microfarad here, and 470 nanofarad here, and also here 470 nanofarad, is that these capacitors are in fact able to transport the complete audio range from, um, let's say, 20 hertz up to 20 kilohertz. So they will cause no problems to conduct the audio signal through the amplifier. But here, this part of the circuit is the real filter circuit. And here you see the uh, potentiometer and the other potentiometer. And now I want to demonstrate the problems that you can encounter when you uh, develop audio filters uh, showed in these circuits, and these circuits you can find everywhere on the internet and in books. There's a lot of mathematics, but this video is about uh, how it works in practice. I put on now the uh, CD player, and now we're gonna turn this potentiometer. And also this potentiometer. And this is what happens when we turn the potentiometer. And we turn it back. And one of the problems when you design filters yourself will be that the frequency dependent potentiometers also have an effect on the output volume. So, they not only, not only uh, influence the frequency, but also the output volume. So that's one problem that you have to tackle when you make audio filters. I put it in the middle position now. And now we're going to change this value from this potentiometer here.
and you can also hear in this case that there is a very big influence not only on the frequency uh, characteristic but also on the volume so also here you will have to tackle a problem and it is that this effect doesn't regulate very much uh, very well very properly the frequency of course we can put up put up the volume from the amplifier but as you can hear there is a disproportional reaction to um, putting up the volume from the audio amplifier so here you find some problems that you can encounter when you work on audio filters By changing the values from these resistors and these capacitors, you have to do that experimentally, you can tackle these problems. So you have to align the circuit that it works well and that it um, filters out certain frequencies but doesn't um, have influences on the output level.